what is going on guys and welcome in this video we're going to create a two and a half bars both of them are going to be transparent one is going to be placed uh, right exactly in the middle of the page uh, vertically and horizontally and you can see that it is a transparent and it has like a little background uh, border as we're hovering over it and the other one we're going to create a nav bar that's also going to be transparent however it's going to have a multiple drop downs over here and over here like this and you'll actually see how easy it is to make one and how easy it is after that to add a unordered list with the links so we can create as many uh, drop down menus over here as we want so now let's stop wasting our time and let's actually get to coding so how do we create a transparent nav bar in the middle of a banner or we could also create it in the middle of the page right so the first thing obviously what we need is our html and over here what we would first create is actually a div and i'm going to give this div a class of banner over here like this and within this div we're actually going to place our nav so i'm going to write nav just like this and within the nav we're going to write a on our list and some list items right so here we're just going to say list items and of course there's going to be a link in there which is going to have a href attribute and over here again we're just going to write home and over here i'm just going to select the line and copy this like i don't know like four times as always so here it's going to be info and here we're going to have a uh, survey and here we're going to have a, I don't know, contact, right? So this is going to be our banner over here. And this is going to be our uh, onward list, which is going to be our nav bar. So here I'm just going to say transparent. Transparent over here. This is going to be our nav bar. So I'm just going to say nav bar. And here we're going to create some style tags. We're not going to create a, an external style sheet. We're going to create an internal. So we're going to say style. And over here, we're just going to start styling the all our elements. However, in this case, I'm not going to start with the banner or with the nav because I just want to style the first uh, onward list just so you can see how we're actually placing this nav uh, within this banner in the middle exactly. So the first thing what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to start styling with a onward list. Now what we always can do is actually uh, select all the all the elements in in our file, and I'm just going to say that I would want a margin zero over here, and I would want a padding zero, just so I don't need to deal with default uh, paddings and margins over here. So I'm just going to say zero, and obviously with all the unordered lists, I'd want a list style uh, none, right? But since I'm going to be styling right away the unordered list. I'm just going to say right away that I would want that list to have a width of 100%. Then I would want a, a list style type none over here, like this. And then I would want a height to be, let's say, 40 pixels over here like this. And I'm going to say that the line height is also going to be 40 pixels. So something like this. And after that, I'm going to say that this is going to have a border radius. Border radius over here like this and this is going to be like five pixels something like that now what i also want to do is actually add a overflow hidden property because we're going to be actually floating our list items we're not going to be setting them inline block we're actually going to be floating so over here i'm just going to say overflow and i'm just going to say that this is going to be a hidden right and the reason for that is if we're floating a child element so we're here in this case uh, list item right so you can see that this is going to be direct child of a unordered list now if we're fl uh, floating a child element the parent element needs to set to be overflow hidden that's the rule so the, therefore that's why we were actually using this overflow hidden so here what we're going to do is we will write float and we'll write left so now you can see how they're all floated and the nice part about it is what we can do is we can actually set the width right now we can set it to 20%, right? I mean, we can set to any kind of percent however we want, but the point is that we can actually set it to percentages, right? We don't need to deal actually with the fact that, uh, let's say that we need to give a specific value, right? Now you can see that I messed up a little bit because, because it should be 25 
over here now you can see how they're evenly dis distributed now the the problem obviously is the fact that my text is not in the center that's why you see them to the left we will fix that once we start actually working with the links but the point is what we can do we don't need to set certain pixels we can actually set it to width so now i can see it doesn't matter how i'm moving my um my screen right it's getting bigger or smaller it's still going to take up 20 exactly 25 percent of my body over here like this so the next thing what we would want to do is actually start styling a list item right so we're going to say ul li and a so this is going to be our link over here and we're going to say that we would want our links to be display block because we obviously want to click them not just when we are actually on a text but anywhere on the link so then we're going to say that we would want to get rid of the text decoration of that annoying underline and then we were going to say the text align is going to be center so now i can see how they exactly right now in the middle and i'm sorry in the center and then i'm going to say that the background color is going to be something like greensboro right so i'm going to say greensboro so now i can see how i got the color and then i'm right away going to set the opacity to like 0 0.5 right so you can see how they're actually you know much more uh transparent and the next thing what i'm going to add is this is going to be the last thing i'm just going to change the color and again i'm just going to say that this is going to be chocolate so now i'm done with my onward list and the only thing that i'm going to do is actually uh, have a hovering uh, rule over here so i'm going to say ul ei over here like this and then i'm going to say hover so as i'm hovering over our links i would want to have a border to be two pixel solid black so i'm going to say border and here it's going to be two pixel solid black over here like this and then after that we're going to say border radius again it's going to we're going to set it to like five pixels so border radius five pixels and now we're pretty much done with a with our uh on our lists and list items and also a links and what we want to do right now we actually want to start styling the actual nav over here like this one and we want to style the banner and first i'm going to style the banner and then i'll show you how we can deal with the nav so over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say that i would want a class banner this is going to be our class and now let's decide the first thing what we want is actually width over here and width is going to be 100 percent of our banner and then the next thing what we would want i would want a height and i would say that the height would be like 400 and 40 pixels now you can set it bigger or smaller or you can set it you can actually use this image that we're going to be working with to for the whole background of the page but in this case i'm just writing 440 just 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 because i want to and the next thing what we would want to do is actually add a background image right so background image here i say url and here i have a coffee coffee mug right so i'm just going to save this and now i can see that i have my image so this is going to be my image over here and the next thing what I, what I would want to do is actually create a no repeat right because you can see that it's repeating many times and that's not what i want I actually just one one image that would be covering everything right so what we would need to do is background repeat somewhere found okay background and we're going to say repeat and we're going to say no repeat now after that we're going to say background size ground size over here and we're going to say that the size is going to be cover so you can see that in the right now is basically our uh, image is covering our whole banner right and this is what we wanted and now as you can see over here that this is transparent and all only thing we'll have to do is actually place this transparent bar all the way in the middle now before we do that i would just want to set a position over here to relative because I'm just going to be using a absolute positioning for my uh, nav to actually place it right in the center, right? So I think that we're pretty much done with the banner. So let's jump to our uh, nav, right? Let's style the nav. I'm going to write a nav selector over here. And first thing what I would want is width, but instead of, let's say 100%, I'm actually going to write 80 over here like this. So now you can see what happens. The nice thing what happens is that and the, if I'm using the percentage, see, I don't need to worry about the fact that how wide the screen is. It's always going to be 80%. 
and over here remember when we set 25 percent it's still going to be 25 percent for each of these uh list items however it's going to be from the 80 percent right so over here if i would change it to 60 right it would still work the same way so you get an idea how i can actually work with these uh percentages much more better in this case than if i would have pixels right and after that what we would want to do is actually place it right in the center right and obviously we know that we could set the margin to zero and just place it uh, horizontally like this but we want to place it both vertically and horizontally so I'm just going to use a position absolute and the way we do that is we write a position over here and we say absolute and since this one is relative the banner now all our nav bar is just going to be floating around this banner so whenever we are going to be setting our dimensions it's going to be within this banner it's not going to leave this page so here I'm just going to say top and I'm going to say the top is going to be 50% I'd want 50% from the top and I would want 50% uh, from the left so I write left 50% right the problem is that it also has its own width right so you can see what's happening that I actually moved too far to the left and actually moved too far down right so what we need to do is we need to use this uh, uh, transform uh, property and we're going to say transform and I'm going to say translate and now what I would need to write is negative 50% over here like this. And also over here, negative 50%. So basically what I'm saying is ignore your own height and width, 50% of that, and actually move those 50% to the direction horizontally and vertically, right? And now you can see how easy it was. So now we have a transparent nav bar that actually is working over here with a border as we're hovering it is right exactly in the middle of the page vertically and also horizontally now you can see the only problem over here you can see this border right it's kind of a little bit messing it up and that it's not in the bottom so what we can do over here you can see the line height and instead of height i could just write 38 right something like this so now what happens is that as i'm working actually with my border it's much more noticeable if i would go 36 it would completely work right so now I can see my full border and this is the only thing that I needed to do is actually change a little bit of line height and so the height would be bigger so now I can see how easy it actually was to create this uh, nav bar transparent mount nav bar and put it in right in the middle of the page and again instead of being a banner of 440 pixels we could have placed it as the background image for our whole page how do we create a transparent nav bar with multiple drop down menus well of course like always the first thing we would need to do is actually create a html basic backbone for that so what i'm going to do over here i'm going to again create a div and it's going to have a class of banner over here like this and within that banner we're actually going to place a nav tags over here like this and within the nav tags we're obviously going to place a unordered list over here like this and within unordered list we're going to create some list uh, list items right and list items are going to contain a link over here like this so there we go now we have our first list item and it's going to be home and next thing what i'm going to do is actually select the line and i'm going to copy it like i don't know like four times and here i'm going to say about and this is going to be service or services services and this is going to be contact right something like this now you can see that i have my first on our list with few list items now what we can do over here is i actually want to create more drop down menus of course so i'm just going to take this and i'm going to copy this so i'm just going to say copy and over here you can see i have my last list item contact I obviously can just paste it over here and here I'm just gonna write and this is gonna be menu menu and this is gonna be also menu and this also is gonna be menu basically all of them are gonna be menus so maybe let's just work with multiple uh, lines at the same time so it's gonna be menu here I'm just gonna delete this now that we have done with that let's actually create a one more sub menu so we go over here maybe let's just call this differently let's just call this drop down 
and maybe this one too so we have a little bit more idea drop down drop down and within the drop down we're going to paste some more so this one i'm going to call sub menu sub menu right and over here again we're just going to delete a few of them and i'm going to write sub sub menu and over here we're just going to get rid of this stuff so now we have pretty much created a drop down menus that we're going to have now i'm going to do all the styling and then i'm going to show you how easy it is actually to add one more because if you remember from example we actually had i think somewhere over here was another menu and we're going to do that but first i just want to style it and show you how easy it is after that to add sub menus so let's go ahead and actually create a style tags because we're not going to be creating external style sheet we're going to do it within internal style sheet so here we within the style and let's start styling now i'm pretty much always debating should i do the banner first or should i do the unordered list because it kind of if we're first styling over here this unordered list then maybe it's it's hard to see what we're doing in the banner and maybe it's the other way around so i'm just going to go uh, pretty much down the line and just start with the banner and then you'll see how everything falls into place so the first thing that i always want to do is actually create this uh, universal selector and i just want to say margin zero and over here i'm also going to say padding zero right so i say padding over here and that also is going to be zero now that we're pretty much done with that over here uh, the next thing what we want is actually start styling the banner right so over here we write banner and again we're just going to write that this is going to have width 100 percent and this is going to have a height for 450 40 pixels and this is going to have a background image over here so it's going to be background image and we're going to say this is going to have url and this is in this case it's going to be coffee over here like this so now we have a background image but what we want to do is actually save it and see what happens right so if i refresh you can see that it's the unfortunate thing that it's repeating right but we already know how to tackle that so we're just going to say background repeat and we're going to say no repeat and now you can see that we have only one image and obviously the next thing what we want is background uh size and we want to write that the size should be cover over here so now we're pretty much covering the whole banner that we have and after that what we want to do is actually set position relative because we will be using position absolute for the nav to actually place it uh, within our banner so i'm going to say position relative or here like this now that we're done with the banner let's actually start styling the nav so we're just going to create a little bit more space and i'm going to write nav and what i would want to do is actually style the nav ul instead of nav so i'm going to say nav ul but you know what let's before we start doing it just want to do something that i would want all my honored list to have is this list style type to be zero so i'm going to write list list style type over here and i would say none right because i don't want those little circles right and this is always something that you want to do Maybe if you know already some kind of element that's going to be repeating, right? You probably want to style it right away for all of them because in this case, obviously, you can see that right away I'm selecting just the unordered list that I'm going to be placing here in the middle, right? I'm not selecting all the uh, unordered lists. I'm only selecting the ones that are actually children of the nav, not descendants, but actually children. So over here, what I would want to do is actually say that I would want a height to be 50 pixels then i would want a line height to be the same so i'm going to say 50 pixels over here like this then after that what we're going to do is we're going to say that we would want a margin to the left to be 20 pixels over here like this so we just moved it a little bit and after that we're going to say that this is going to have a position over here and it's going to be absolute and it's going to be 10 percent from the top right so i'm going to say 10 percent top something like this now it doesn't make any sense right now because we haven't styled the list items but just bear with me and in a second we're actually going to do that so over here if i would write a nav and then i would say ul li and over here i would say display in line block 
So we have display and we have inline block. So now I can see how my actually nav moved over here. Now I can see the problem because my unordered list is obviously pushing everything up. You see this drop down, right? But we'll fix that once we actually start styling these unordered list itself, right? So don't worry about it. The, the most important thing you can see over here, these list items, they are the ones that are actually sitting where we, where we, where we want them to sit. So after that, what we would want to do is actually uh, do the width of the list items. And I'm just going to say a width should be something like 150 pixels, right? So maybe that's a little bit too much, like 100 pixels. So let's check it out what we have on a bigger screen. Is it better? I mean, it's a little bit better. Yeah, 100 pixels is going to be fine. So now we're done with that. Let's actually style all the links in our page. Right, and I want to style them separately. I just want to style them all together. So the way I'm going to write is nav and ul, and over here I'm just going to say li and a, over here like this. And here I'm going to say that I would want them display block, over here like this. I'm going to be having text align center, and after that I'm going to say that I don't want the text decoration. So I'm going to say none, over here like this. And after that, we're going to have a border a border over here. And it's going to be two pixel solid. I don't know. Just solid. Solid is going to be fine. I'll just keep it solid. And then we're going to create a border radius. Radius over here. And we're going to say that that's going to be like five pixels. Right? So you can see these nice little rounded corners. And then I would want to say a background color to be like dark gray not dark blue dark gray over here gray so this is going to be our color and then after that we would want to have a opacity already right away so transparency so i'm just going to say 0 0.7 and after that i'm going to say that it would have a color that's going to be the color of the font and this is going to be chocolate and after that we're going to say a margin to the top over here we're just going to create a little margin and it's going to be five pixels right so this is going to be our plan right but again we haven't styled yet these unordered lists and actually before we style these unordered lists what i would want to do is actually set all the nav ul allies relative because we are going to be using the position absolute to style the nav uls right so over here it's going to be position and I'm going to say relative. So this is going to be my position relative. And after that, we're going to start actually styling a unordered list. So we would write nav ul ul. So now I start styling pretty much the second unordered list. And I would say display and I would want them to be display block. And after that, I would want to say that width should be a hundred or here like this. And after that, I'm going to say that it's going to have a uh, position absolute. So I'm going to say position. And over here, I'm going to say absolute. So now you can see how they right away moved to the top, right? Because I actually changed the, uh, the way they're actually displayed. And then I'm going to say top. It's going to be 100% over here like this. And then I'm going to say that the left is going to be zero. And the last one, I would want to have a visibility and it's going to be hidden. Now, the reason why we set these ones to relative, right? See what happens over here if I do this. So let's say that I would just get rid of this, right? So you see what happens, right? It's not really uh, understanding where it needs to end, right? It's pretty much using uh, right now all those links as some type of relative. But that's not what we want. We actually want the list item. So therefore we write over here and now now it knows that it need it needs to stay relative to the list items, right? Not to the actual remember when we set this one to relative, actual banner, that's where it would be staying for. But we want the list items. Therefore we write here relative and over here is gonna be absolute. And here we're just gonna write that visibility is gonna be hidden for now, because we don't wanna we only wanna see that as we're actually hovering. So in order to actually uh, appear that when we're hovering, we're going to say nav ul, and here we're going to say li. This is going to be hover, 
and as we're hovering we want a ul over here to be shown so what we do over here we write a visibility visible right we write visible so now let's check it out as i'm hovering sure enough you can see that they're showing over here right but you can see that i set it only for these list items right so therefore as i'm hovering over this one it's not showing it but we'll fix that don't worry about it that's pretty much probably is going to be our next uh, stop right so again what we would need to do is we write nav then we write ul then we write ul ul over here like this and then again we say that we would want a position over here and we would want a absolute and after that the difference is going to be here we're going to say top we would want zero and actually left to be 100 percent and I'll, you'll see in a second why it is like that so now what we're going to do is actually we're going to say a visibility is going to be hidden over here also however again what we're going to do is we're actually going to set it that as we're hovering over them the list items they're going to be actually visible so over here we'll write nav ul and ul over here like this and then we say li and then we say hover and then we say as we're hovering over these ones we would want a ul to be shown right so we say visibility visible pretty easy so now let's check it out let's just make it let's save for sure not that one let's save this one make the screen a little bit bigger and sure enough you can see over here this is my uh, second drop down menu and again the difference you see over here over here we have top 100 left zero right here we had a top zero because we want actually to be even and you can see that it's not a little bit even because of the margins so obviously if we go a little bit let's say minus five percent something like this over here let's try that one out right so you can see that it's already moving up right so over here if we would maybe do it more let's say like 10 let's check it out what do we have that should be pretty yeah as you see it's pretty close right but the, but the point of that is why this happening like that is because obviously because of the margins but you see the idea that over here how we can create these sub menus now I didn't add the hover so probably what I would need to do is actually go over here you see this nav uh, the links but we would want a nav ul li a and then a, a pseudo class of hovering that has we're hovering over and let's say i'm going to say that this is going to be color black i would want and i don't know what else uh i guess that's going to be it so i'm just going to save this and refresh it and you can see what happening is that as i'm hovering over them actually they're turning black right everything the border and actually the the color of the fonts now let's check it out what we what, how we can do it to actually add one more over here right this list item so we go over here we find where is our actually unordered list and i don't know we can maybe just just take the whole thing right so what we can do is over here we can just take this and we're just going to copy this and let's add it over here where's the home right we create a little bit more room just so we can actually understand better what we're doing i'm just going to paste this and again i'm just going to save this over here just in case and i'm going to refresh you can see that now i ha my home has the same sub menu right and the menus so you can see actually how easy it is uh, to do that right and how simple it really is there's a couple of basic things that we need to follow and we can actually make this in no time <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,